Exodus chapter 16. And they took their journey from Elam, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came unto the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, and when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full, for ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, At even, then ye shall know that the Lord hath brought you out from the land of Egypt. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord, for that he heareth your murmurings against the Lord. And what are we, that ye murmur against us? And Moses said, This shall be, when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that the Lord heareth your murmurings, which ye murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And Moses spake unto Aaron, Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he hath heard your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass, that at even the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoar frost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating an omer for every man, according to the number of your persons. Take ye every man for them, which are in his tents. And the children of Israel did so, and gathered some more, some less. And when they did meet it with an omer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. And Moses said, Let no man leave of it till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moses, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stink, and Moses was wroth with them. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating, and then when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And when it came to pass, that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for one man, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses, and he said unto them, this is that which the Lord hath said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake today, and sieve that ye will sieve, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And they laid it up until the morning, as Moses bade, and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. And Moses said, Eat that today, for today is a Sabbath unto the Lord. Today ye shall not find it in the field. Six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. And it came to pass, that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? See, for that the Lord hath given you the Sabbath, therefore he giveth you on the sixth day the bread of two days, abide ye every man in his place. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. 
and the house of Israel called the name thereof manna, and it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commandeth, fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness, when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a pot, and put an omer full of manna therein, and lay it up before the Lord, to be kept for your generations. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Israel did eat manna forty years, until they came to a land in inhabited, and they did eat manna, until they came unto the borders of the land of Canaan. Now an omer is the tenth part of an ephah. Exodus chapter 16. The Israelites left Elam and traveled to the wilderness of Sin on the second month, the fifteenth day, after leaving Egypt. The Israelites complained against Moses because they were hungry, mentioning Egypt had food, and accusing Moses of bringing them to the wilderness to starve. The Lord tells Moses that he will rain bread on them from heaven, and that the Israelites should gather a portion every day for that day only. God says that this is a test to see if they will keep his instructions. On the sixth day, gather twice as much for the Sabbath, and don't gather any on the Sabbath. Moses says that God will provide meat in the evening and bread in the morning, that their complaints were against God and not against him. In verse 10, Aaron communicated this message to the Israelites, and then the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. God tells Moses that the Israelites will have meat in the evening and bread in the day. Then they shall know that he is Lord. Quail came in the evening, dew that evaporated, leaving bread on the desert floor, came in the mornings. The Israelites question Moses about what this substance was, and Moses tells them it's the bread that God sent. Moses tells the Israelites that God says to get an omer for each tent each day, and don't get more than you can eat in a day. The New Living Translation says that an omer is two quarts. The Israelites gathered the bread daily, and some decided to gather more than they were told to. When it was left out overnight, it became full of maggots and stink. Moses was angry with them for disobeying. They gathered it in the morning, and the sun would melt the rest that was not gathered away. The substance left over for the Sabbath that had been gathered on the sixth day did not spoil, and it did not breed maggots. In verse 25, the substance doesn't appear on the Sabbath. In verse 27, some did not listen and went to gather it anyway on the Sabbath. In verse 28, God asked them through Moses how long they'll refuse to keep his commandments. God chastises them, reminding them to keep the Sabbath holy, and the people then obeyed and rested. The Israelites call the substance manna. It was white and tasted like wafer and honey. Then in verse 32, God told them to keep an omer or two quarts to preserve for generations, to show uh, future generations what they ate in the desert. This was not for consumption. And in verse 35, the Israelites ate manna 40 years before they got to the land of Canaan. Some highlights. In verse 2, the Israelites murmured or complained about Moses and Aaron instead of asking God directly for a solution. In Genesis chapter 25, verse 22, Rebekah was experiencing a difficult pregnancy, and she went to God herself to ask the reason for this. Now, some one of the Israelites could have asked God, but the Bible does not mention it the same way it does in Genesis chapter 25. Verse 3, the Israelites again mentioned how Egypt was more sufficient in some ways, accusing Moses of bringing them to the wilderness to die. The last mention of this type of complaint, saying that Egypt was better in some way, was Exodus chapter 14, verse 11, saying that there were no graves in Egypt. You brought us to the wilderness to die. 
full accommodations are provided in systems of slavery, particularly ones where the subjects are needed to be used physically. The cost of full provision in that situation is loss of autonomy and basic human rights. Freedom comes with the heavy responsibility of providing for the self, specifically if consulting God for solutions is not an option. Verse 3, they had pots of bread and meat available, but in verse 13 through 15, after they were free, they had to gather and prepare their own food. Also, dietary options, or the lack thereof, can drastically improve the mood, or change that mood, impact the mood, yeah. The lack of dietary options can greatly impact a mood quickly. Hunger can attack your countenance. In verse 19, God specifically asked the Israelites not to gather more than they could eat unless it was the sixth day and they don't listen. And then verse 27, God told them don't gather any on the seventh on the Sabbath day. And some some people didn't listen and went to do it anyway. And then verse 32 and 33, God tells the Israelites to fill an omer with manna to keep it, to show what was provided in the desert. And then lastly, the Israelites were in the desert 40 years eating manna before they arrived at Canaan. That was chapter 16. Hope to see you for chapter 17.